far, it's unbelievable. I'm making a second part. There's a wonder. There's a wondrous place not far away. It's a land in the side of a big old house where veggies work and play. Meet Bob and Larry and their veggie friends. They're all heading inside this world that seems to never end. They're unforgettable. They're incredible. We've got veggie tales to tell because we're veggies. Whoa, veggie tales. Broccoli, celery, what the heck? No! Am I mad? No, I'm not trash talking the show because this is why we need veggie tails. I, lo I, lo I love veggie tails in the house. I love veggie tails in the house. I should have stopped skipping the intro! Hi. Welcome to the Colin Show. This is episode two of our final thing, Why We Need Veggie Tales. Netflix in 2014 released a show, Veggie Tales in the House, lasting to 2016, having four seasons, then Veggie Tales in the City, only lasting, starting in the beginning of 2017, ending at the ending of 2019, having two seasons. Both shows, they're good. In the city, I like it better because it's a bunch of world building with in the house, you just feel like this is all in the kid's imagination. I kind of, it's not that I hate that, but I think that's also why I hated the Lego movie too. Well, I didn't hate it. I loved it, but like, you get the point! Let's talk about Veggie Tales in the house. Alright, so, to Netflix original series. This takes place with just two stories each episode about Larry and Bob. All right, what are they doing? Who are they going to meet? And how are they going to teach us to be kind? In this show, they don't preach as much. And I think in a way, not saying it's a bad thing to preach in TV, I think that's what made the original version great because two men who love God came together to make a funny and hilarious show for kids. In this one, though, when they took out the preaching, I felt like this became more eligible to kids who, like, I don't know, like, we didn't like and felt like it was forced content because of church and all that. It was like, this is just fun to watch. And they don't push the kindness thing, like, really hard on them. Like, it's, like, all hidden in there. I mean, there's some episodes where they're like, be kind, bro. Be kind, man. You ain't gonna be kind. I like you. Show's good. I mean, big ideas, I don't... Uh, big ideas is... Oh, crap, don't quote me on this, but I do not believe they are attached to the project. From what it says here, Big Ideas is not attached to this project. Now, Veggie Tales has their own show on TBN, which is coming, that came out this fall. That's weird, never heard of it. I'm going to have to watch that. But, the Netflix show is good. You know, there are 22 minute episodes. I think there's like 15 or maybe 22. Don't quote me on that episodes in the season. It's awesome. I love it. Why again we need Veggie Tales for kindness? But, they give us more Larry Boyd. They give us more of the funny parodies. In a whole binge watchable setting. But then we get the villain. The potato. It is radishes. They're radically bad. Potatoes about to get mashed. I came up for those and I kind of like it. Anyway, I love the show. And now, Veggie Tales in the City. Now taking place inside of a city. Um, this whole one miniature city, you get more of the adventures in this whole world. It's phenomenal. The plot, you can tell that they're now trying to come up with ideas. Like, I can imagine this is how like their final pitch meetings went for these. I mean, it all, it obviously went something like this. <laughs> okay, man. I gotta explain some stuff. I'm running out of ideas. Have we done anything about name calling? Oh my gosh. Okay. Program, program, program. 917 times. Oh no. 
What about, what about Larry Boy? Ten hundred times. Crap! Um, get out the originals. The originals? No. <sighs> we can make a trilogy about Larry Boy. Too much effort, man! <sighs> Someone cut me in line today at Starbucks. What's the closest thing we have to Starbucks in this world? That coffee shop on Veggie Tail Street. Don't cut people in line, kids. And then they reuse the ideas, but it's good. It's 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 good. And I truly think that's how their pitch meetings goes, and that's no reason to make fun of the show because I love the show. But <laughs> Some idea, you could tell us they're running out of ideas. We're like, Zach, don't know what to do, man. Oh, no. What if we do? And I feel like if VeggieTales was on an adult network, not an adult network, but not like Nickelodeon either, like. Yeah, Nickelodeon. I think Disney would dive deeper, like Disney XD. And they could. They could deal more into, like, serious issues, like they try to do in a light, friendly way, but we could deal with more, like, depression and. Stuff like that, and signs of it, because you make these lovable characters. We're gonna love it. And we need this for kindness, okay? I binge this whole show. Well, I started binging it, then I got bored, because F is for family, it's great. Anyway, I feel like I became kinder watching it. So, if you're watching this video, and you feel you're having a bad day, or you know someone who's not that kind, and you just want to make their day better, and you want to figure out why maybe they're not kind. Go on your Netflix account. Oh, you don't have Netflix? Then get on YouTube. And just Google VeggieTales. You can find the old game they used to have on the App Store. And I want to know if you guys remember this. The, it was like the house the three people built. The app store on the App Store. And was, I can't find any trace of it. Maybe I'm a mystery. But, yeah. So, get up. Either somehow watch VeggieTales. Not the new series even. The old series. I bet you, your grandma, who loves to go to church all the time, has a disc of it somewhere. She'll find it. She'll go to her church library and find it happen once. So, watch Veggie Tales. That's all I ask. Watch an episode and tell me that you'll be a little bit better inside. My throat hurts. No, never mind. It's like I just ate too many circus peanuts. Everybody, have a happy Valentine's Day. I will be uploading before that, but I want you guys to have a happy Valentine's Day if you don't watch any of my other videos. Because I don't care if you don't like it, subscribe, because all I care about is if you're having a good day. So have a good day. Have a good life. And yes, be considerate. Hit the subscribe button and like button. Or just comment on the video like, your video's trash, man. Any comment helps. Thank you. I need vegetables. I need vegetables. Why we need vegetables? Why we need vegetables? And to be honest, now that this series is over, um, here's all the pictures I printed for it. Hi, Mike. Look at the mic. It's got this weird white stuff in it. If you guys can see. All right, vegetables in the house. Vegetables in the city. My phone. Oh, right, let's go. Let's go over the Lego sets. Larry Boy that, um, where's my hair? Please, send me that. Uh, this playground, and this. I really hope you guys enjoy.